Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, you're gonna cook with me. So yeah, cooking with me is a real treat. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's go. I'm going to be making uh, a spinach and artichoke kind of spaghetti squash-ish meal with some chicken. Um, I finished my spaghetti with meat sauce, so now I'm gonna do this instead. And I also found I also found some cucumbers that I forgot that I had in the fridge that I'm going to cut up for my lunch so that I can have them as chips instead of actually eating chips or popcorn. Because I'll tell you guys something, popcorn is great and all, but like I still have a kernel stuck in my tooth from today and I can't get it out. I had to brush my teeth after lunch. I actually had to brush my teeth in my office because the salesman in my office hogged the bathroom and I couldn't use it. So I used a Dunkin' Donuts cup and literally brushed my teeth in my office trying to remove this popcorn kernel, which is still very, very much in my mouth. I will also have you know that that is 100% a sink full of dirty dishes that you saw and I apologize, but it's already been a week. And I've done a lot of cooking on Sunday, and I've had no time to wash the dishes because Game of Thrones happened. I had to watch that. It was the Battle of Winterfell. I won't spoil anything, but if you watched it, you know why I didn't do the frickin' dishes. I'll get to it, guys. <laughs> I'll get to it. Don't worry. My next video, the sink will be empty. I promise. Okay, so if you guys watched my last video, I showed you how to cook spaghetti squash. So I currently have that in the oven, and now, and now I'm over here and I'm cooking up some chicken. I do have some more chicken to cook. I just seasoned it with some minced onion and garlic. Market Pantry, shout out Target. It's where I live and breathe and home away from home. Um, these are some of my other ingredients. Like I said, I've also got cream cheese and various cheeses, and then I need to find my can of artichoke hearts to add in also, but I figured I would cook the chicken first, and then these two bags of spinach will become one leaf of spinach when I'm done cooking. Because we all know that's what happens to spinach when you cook it. It looks really big at first, and then you end up with one leaf. Spinach is crap. Spinach is a scam, but it's also really yummy. So it's been a couple minutes. Just wanted to update you on the chicken. Forgot to turn the stove on. So we weren't, we weren't cooking anything. Stove's on now. We're in business. Yeah, we're cooking. So um, keep you updated. I'll have you know that I did my dishes. There's only a couple left in the sink. I did them. Because I am a multitasker. And like any other, I can multitask so good. Yeah. My chicken, it's still cooking. So, I like chicken. <laughs> I'm real complex with chicken, and I really only like it grilled, and I don't like it moist. It freaks me out. So you cook your chicken however you cook it. I'm gonna make it dry, because <laughs> that's the only way I'll eat it. I just want you guys to know how happy I am that I remembered that I have cucumbers, because I literally forgot I had these, and I would rather eat these than my popcorn. Let me put it into perspective for you guys about how much I actually hate chicken. If we were in a zombie apocalypse and all that there was to eat was chicken, I would probably eat a snake. I would probably be a vegetarian because I probably wouldn't eat the snake either. I don't like chicken. Like, I like it, but the texture when I'm cooking it and I'm cutting it, freaks me out so bad. I love it grilled. Barbecue chicken all day, every day. If there's grills in the apocalypse, bring on the chicken. I don't like chicken. 
just look at that spinach starting out so strong in the pan. So much spinach. Wow. Look at it all. Man. Bet it won't shrink down to nothing. Bet that won't happen. Bet I'll still have this much left when it's done cooking. Right, guys? I know. Spinach is crazy. That was my spaghetti squash, if you heard that sound. Spaghetti squash goes nuts in the oven. Crazy. What an actual scam with the spinach. Where the crap did my spinach go? Oh, cooking spinach. Look at all that spinach. That's gone. I got one leaf. One spinach leaf. I'll be real honest with you too. I don't remember how to make spinach and artichoke dip. I'm kind of winging it. So what I did was I put cream cheese in the pan with some milk and the artichoke and the spinach. And then I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese in there. And um, we're just gonna pray for the best. We're gonna pray it tastes good. All you guys know. Well, you know, you guys, you guys, this is like the best spaghetti squash I've ever cooked in my whole life. It came out so good, like butter, just like peeling right out of the shell, just so perfect. And now let me show you guys the good stuff. So this is what I'm going to pour right over that spaghetti squash. Let's look at that. Look at that. So cheesy. Okay guys, so here it is. The final product in my laughing bowl. The bowl that's already laughing at me because we don't know what it tastes like. Here's the rest of it. I mean it looks good and it like it smells really good so like let's see all right so I'm gonna try it for you guys so that you can we can all do this together we're all in it together right guys right guys all right it was hot Nope, you know what? It's good. It's good. I mean, I'm not like the next master chef or anything, but like it's pretty good. I mean, I would eat chips with it. Like I would get like some crackers, you know, or like tortilla chips and like I'd throw down. Yeah, it's real good. And I bought a little more Parmesan cheese on top. Here's the chicken. Oh, excuse that. That wasn't a good look. But no, guys, like, if you want the recipe to this, I didn't throw, I didn't do measurements, so I can't, can't like really give you that. But I give you like, I give you a basic rundown. God, I'm the next, I'm the next Buzzfeed Tasty Chef. I mean, probably not, but this is actually really good. This came out, this came out real good. Well, if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, help out my channel. And if you want more videos of my random cooking shenanigans or anything like that, you can subscribe down below. Ring that notification bell, and it will tell you when I've uploaded a new video. And um, I'm going to go eat this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.